My project is about the daily rhythms uh, we experience in our normal life, like the wake and sleep cycle. And I think it's really interesting that uh, basically everything I'm working on, on a molecular level, has direct effect on the daily life and you can experience it yourself. The main goal of my project is like to find the relationship between uh, hormone impairment, between temporal fluctuation of hormone data and brain networks. I'm trying to detect and characterize blood proteins which reflect the thyroid hormone status in specific organs. This GRK is special for metabolic and their related diseases. Okay, I'm studying the leptin transport through the blood-brain barrier. Um, so it's how the leptin from the bloodstream cross the endothelial cells in the brain and I write to the neurons to give the input for the food intake and energy expenditure. I am actually interested in uh, how orexin takes place in the, uh, in the pathway of um, addiction and reward processing in the midbrain. Mostly I'm working on thyroid hormones regulating metabolism in human and uh, I, I focus on a compound converting from thyroid hormones which act uh, exactly oppositely. I think I was 14 and I went to a genetic institute in our town and then that was the first time I saw the DNA really in a tube in a lab and then I just decided to uh, learn more about science and then I become scientist. <laughs> Maybe we can say that science chose me. When I became older and realized how biomedical research can improve the patient's life, um, I wanted to become a profession in this field. Um, science is, to me, it's a really interesting field and I personally come from a multicultural background. So in this field, it's really a, a place that people put away their differences and working together um, for the welfare of mankind. Well, honestly, there are not so many at that moment, but then this is the challenge to make something that is not working, where there are always problems working. This is really challenging. And then when th that moment arrived, it's great, because it's the best moment that y you can have. When you overcome the, every single challenge, it will be, or it is, a Eurocode moment for us. I think it's really an interesting and good idea that you have one main topic and you have all these different projects which basically uh, look at this topic from a different perspective and use different techniques. My PI gave me a, a really nice um, impression on she's, he's very open-minded and I, I have a space to discuss because when you find, try to find a PhD position it's more so how you interact with your PI and your students. In, in a GRK, you get in contact to other students and have an intense exchange in knowledge and experiences that you don't have when you're just in your own lab and do your own research. For example, this going three months abroad, which I was in Santiago de Compostela in Spain, at, and I was amazing. Uh, so um, that was at one point. The other point was uh, the international atmosphere in the GRK and also a really good supervisor and um, these connections between them. And the GRK also offers some courses about career planning, and that helped me. Yes, a marzipan, and, uh, <laughs> and also it's a, a small, cute uh, city, and I like it because you can go with bicycle everywhere, and you don't have to wait in a, a traffic. The Baltic Sea is very close, and that comes from Naples, that it's really close to sea, so for me it was really, really important. Lübeck has a really great history and I think the medieval flair of the inner city is really unique. Maybe we can cut this part. <laughs> um, how do you think of the 
<laughs> what do yeah. you think of?